and welcome to our Mexico vlog. Charlie and I arrived here in Tulum late last night and we went to bed very, very early, a bit jet lagged. So we are staying at a lovely hotel called El Pez, which means the fish in Spanish. And it is on the main Tulum beach. Tulum, we've kind of figured out, is a bit of, it's kind of like one long road with everything, all the lovely hotels, restaurants, etc., are along this road. So it's gonna be hopefully very easy to navigate. Our room is very typical to Lum style, very simple, rustic, beach chic. And today we're gonna to have some breakfast. We had a really amazing dinner here at the hotel last night. We just ordered all the tacos on the menu, feeling like a giant taco this morning. And um, yeah, we're gonna have a nice breakfast here and then we're gonna rent some bicycles from the concierge and we're going to cycle to the ruins. It's only 7 a.m. but we are ready to go. The sun is already out and it's gonna be a beautiful day. very chilled breakfast set up on the beach here. Charlie's doing some Instagram stories. We have a three course breakfast starting off with some fresh papaya and I've also ordered a smoothie called Cereal Killer which I'm very excited to try. Eating fruit. I know. Eating fruit. I know. It tastes better over here. <laughs> Your breakfast then darling? So we have huevos rancheros. Ooh, Spanish accent. Not the most photogenic, but it looks very good. It does look good. Yours is seriously photogenic. Mine is epic. It's very, I've got it's very you, isn't it? Mexican guacamole, <laughs> avocado. Of what you have at home. <laughs> yeah. I don't alter my uh, routine too much. And then this is my epic looking cereal killer smoothie. That's probably it's the It's got highlight. honey, granola, strawberries, bananas, pineapple, papaya, OJ, and then Charlie's got an immune boosting one to get this, all those lurgies out of the way. Of this place so far is their juices. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, very good coffee as well. Mm. Actually, I would say the highlight is having an epic breakfast surrounded by this. Wow, wow, wow. Pinch me. And that is our room. some bikes from our hotel and we pedaled 20 minutes down the road to the site of the ancient Mayan ruins. We paid a grand total of about three pounds in Mexican pesos to get in and we are going to go and see the what's left of I think their pyramids, their a Mayan Not university. Sure pyramids, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. So let's see what it's all about. Azulik, which is actually another hotel, um, and they have a really lovely area of beach. We've also ordered some rather delicious looking lunch. I've got a burrata flatbread with um, lots of nice cheese and sun dried tomato. Charlie is demolishing a tuna ceviche. Lots and of garlic in this place. What have you got there? Soft shell crab. Wow. Look at that. That is next level. That looks amazing. Yeah. And that's squid ink tacos, right? Yeah. Mm. And, I, and I mean, it, this place is on the higher end in terms of price compared to other places around here, but it's still not a bad bag no. compared to like the UK. And the beach is lovely. And here comes my guacamole. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Oh yes, oh my goodness. Oh wow. Right, I need them. So they Should do it here. Them. Oh my goodness, this is literally the greatest guacamole I've ever tasted. Mm -mm -mm.
with various different Mayan salts around the edges so we have to mix a little bit of everything Watch this Oh, you're gonna be a piggy You're a piggy, you've ruined it Piggy Good? Tutto bene Muy bien Good morning, darlings. It is day two in Tulum. I'm doing my jade rolling, my latest obsession. Um, it is another glorious day. Charlie and I have just had breakfast and I think we're gonna go uh, rent some bicycles again today and check out a beach club called Coco Tulum. Heard lots of really good things about it and seen lots of good things on Instagram. I basically just use Instagram as my search tool these days, see what looks amazing and head there. So that's the plan this morning and then we're gonna head to, again, another Instagrammable place called Nomad for lunch and then see where the day takes us. But it's just absolutely glorious morning and Charlie's doing a little bit of work. So when I finish my jade rolling, I'm gonna go and read a book in the sun before the sun gets too hot because I try to stay out of the sun after like 11 a.m. So now is now's my chance to get a little bit of vitamin D, C, the sun one. <laughs> time another Instagram for hungry man about town we've come to La Zebra this time which is a sister hotel to ours we've got a Mexican queso fondue apparently and then a puffed um, I don't know what that is puffed something or other which we throw inside and I've got a Miami Vice cocktail which is half pina colada half strawberry daiquiri whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Charlie has researched Pablo Escobar's old house, which is now converted into a hotel and restaurant, and that's where we're going for dinner. Artists are here. Charlie has got a trio of ceviche, whereas I've got guacamole. And if you look very closely, there are some grasshoppers in here as well which I'm not sure if I'll be eating, but it looks pretty good. It is our final morning in Mexico. Sadly, this trip was far too short. We are off to Dallas next. It has been an amazing couple of days and I feel like this has just wet our appetite for Mexico. Charlie and I will most definitely be coming back to Tulum. This whole place has just got such a nice vibe. It's just so friendly. I feel like Mexico sometimes has a bit of a bad name, but we've not for one moment felt unsafe here. Quite the opposite. We just had the best time. It's such amazing food, amazing people, amazing weather, amazing beaches. Our hotel has been amazing, so yes, we will most definitely be planning our trip back. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of glimpse into our trip here. We are off to Dallas next, so the next vlog will be um, our time there. But as always, everything that I've worn, everywhere that we've stayed and eaten will all be detailed down below, so check out the description box for all the information. Charlie and I are going to take a few last minute photos. I'm going to take some photos of my jewellery. I always wear just kind of like delicate classic pieces when we're abroad, so I thought I would do a post about that. My necklace, both necklaces are Astrid and Mew, and then I've also got Astrid and Mew um, lovely gold hoops in. 
and Astrid and Mew rings as well, so very decked out. Um, but yeah, time for a last minute photo shoot, and then we are gonna hit the road. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> When lights go out